Well, this is an interesting one I got sent. I brought you some news about Sainsbury's yesterday and something like 20,000 people looked at it. So what's going on in the shops is quite important to many people. This one's about Asda's. Specifically, have you been shopping there in the last couple of months and used your debit card? If you have, I would suggest you check your receipts and your bank statements. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Friday, end of the week. Let me know what you're up to in the comments below and that you're going to have a good weekend. And uh, it's got some great plans. That's the main thing, isn't it? Thank you very much, everybody, for the support for the channel, by the way. We're going great guns. We really are. I'm loving what's happening. Hit the like button. Share the information, particularly in the case of this video, if you feel it important. And uh, make comments. I love to read them. Well, if you've been shopping in Asda's, and many people do, the same as the rest of the superstores, you need to be very careful. If you've used a debit or credit card, particularly, you need to check your receipts. It would appear, uh, and it's branched from uh, an Asda's in Wakefield, that some customers have been double charged. There's specific complaints going about, and one of which is uh, that springs to mind straight away. Somebody did their shopping in March for 66 quid, and here we are in May, and Asda's have charged them 66 quid again. And there's another couple of examples of that as well. So effectively, without you looking, you could have another week's shopping budget taken away from you, just like that in a snap. So please be mindful, what did you do within the last couple of months? Did you go to Asda's? Did you spend a significant amount of money? Double check your paperwork and make sure they haven't stiffed you. To be fair to Asda's, in the news, they are saying they have refunded customers that have uh, been affected by this, are aware of the issue, and are sorting it. But I have a question, why the hell did it happen in the first place? I thought once you used a debit or credit card and were charged, how can they take something else off you? Usually that's called Continuous Payment Authority, where you sign up for an ongoing subscription or something with a debit card, and they have your permission to just charge and charge and charge again. So I do wonder how this got to happen. So be careful, or use cash. Cash is king at the end of the day. Let me know in the comments if you've been affected by this, what you think, and more importantly, get it shared, because it is important people know about this. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.